New chapter in the Broward Sheriff Saga. Tomorrow, a Florida commission is set to consider stripping Gre Gregory Tony of his law enforcement license. Local with Terrell Fournay, live in Fort Lauderdale, with what this could mean for the agency. Terrell. And that panel of peers is expected to scrutinize Broward's top cop, and the outcome could very well reshape the sheriff's career. Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony's future as a certified law enforcement officer is on the line over ethical and legal questions surrounding his vetting process. Tony has been Broward's top cop for three and a half years now, but during his tenure, it came to light that as a young teen, he shot and killed someone during a dispute while growing up in Philadelphia. Tony was acquitted of that crime nearly 30 years ago, but did not disclose that information of a fatal shooting or brush with the law on his hiring forms from the court. Springs Police Department where he started his law enforcement career and on FDLE recertification papers. Those forms specifically ask about a juvenile arrest or charges and if one had ever been detained for investigative purposes as a suspect to which he marked no for all. Here's what the sheriff has said in the past. When you're coming in uh, for an employment, one, it doesn't require you to bring it up and two, I don't want to be some a 14-year-old black kid who survived a shooting. I don't want to be someone's victim. Florida's Criminal Justice Standards and Training Commission is expected to take up this issue at a meeting Tuesday in Orlando. The 19-member panel of independent law enforcement officers from around the state will eventually decide if Tony should be stripped of his police officer certification. The panel's role under the oversight of FDLE is to ensure Florida citizens are served by a qualified, well-trained, competent and ethical law enforcement community. So that panel is expected to meet tomorrow in Orlando and again in August. We know that if they do move to decertify the sheriff, they would essentially strip him of his arresting powers. This move would also bar him from serving as a law enforcement officer in the state of Florida, but he would still remain as sheriff here in Broward County because he would be considered obviously an elected official. Reporting live near Fort Lauderdale, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Terrell,